I'm Kara O, oh, and in today's video, I would like to talk to you about a, a kind of system that you can go through to determine whether you should stay with a man or not. And this is always emotional, even if there's a part of us that knows, no way should I be with this person. We're attached, and so it's always difficult to detach. So here's what I want you to do. The first thing to ask yourself is, is this a man that you would want to be the father of your children? And this is not anything to do with whether you want children or not. It has to do with what kind of man is he? Is he the kind of man that could, could be a good father? You want that. You want someone who's really quality and that's a good dad. So that's a first question you ask and it helps take yourself out of the emotional involvement with him. The next thing to do is to do what I call a Ben Franklin. And that's where you take a piece of paper, across the top you put a line, and down the middle you put a line, and on the one side you put the pros, and the other side the cons. Um, what are the good things about this man? All the th ways he makes you feel great. All the ways that your family and friends like him or not. And on the other side you put the nots. You put how all those things that make you feel crummy. And, you know, there's a few, no doubt, or you wouldn't be doing this process. So I'll on, run it down both sides, all the good things and the bad things. The ways you make, he makes you feel great, the way he makes you feel like garbage. So, uh, of course, if there's even one item on the, <laughs> on the list that makes you feel like garbage, you <laughs> probably are done and you know it already. But anyway, this is for when you're not sure. The third thing I want you to do is just look at this man, who he is right now. All you know is right now, especially if you're just getting acquainted. But maybe you've been with him. I, I spoke with a lady the other day. She'd been with someone five years. I told her, you know what you have. You need to decide. So look at this man, uh, a little snapshot of who he is right now because you don't know that it's going to be any different. You don't know if he's going to get better. You don't know if he's going to get worse. Do you want to live the rest of your life with the man the way he is right now? And that'll tell you a lot as soon as you answer that question. And you may not like the answer. And the fourth thing that I want you to do is what I call a rocking chair test. And that is, imagine yourself at the end of your life. You're sitting on your front porch, you're rocking away, just looking at your life. And on one direction, look at your life. If you had said, yes, I'm going to stay with this man. And look at your life if you said no. And what does it look like to you? And here's just a little tidbit that has helped me make these kind of decisions. No matter what I have ever had to do, I always come out the other end better. I was married for 29 years. And a year, it was a great marriage as far as we were concerned. We marveled when we looked around. We felt like we had the best marriage of all of our friends. But at year 27, it started falling apart. And two years later, I was filing for divorce. It was devastating. But you know what? It's turned out to be the best thing for me. I am so much happier, so much um, more capable of loving and being loved and just celebrating life. And I became a writer. I would not have been a writer if it hadn't been for that divorce. I, I could go on and on, all the benefits. So just remember that as hard as it might be to walk away from something that's, you know, comfortable. And there he is. You don't know if you're ever going to end up with another guy or not, good or bad. But you need to follow your heart. You need to do what's best for you. So I hope this has been helpful and that you'll be able to make the right choice for you.